Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. So the other day on Instagram, I asked you guys to send in your questions and I got an overwhelming amount of skincare questions. And then I asked you guys on YouTube what you wanted to see in my next video and you guys said skincare. So you guys wanna know what I'm using, what I'm doing, what is going on and I totally get it and I love that because I'm also a total skincare junkie. I am obsessed with my skin. As you guys may know, I'm a model. So my skin being clear and glowing is crucial. And I feel like I've tried and tested and done a lot of things over the years to try to figure out what works for me, what actually makes a difference. And I'm going to share those things with you right now. So one thing that I do that I absolutely think makes a difference in my skin, and I've said this in another video, is figuring out what your magic number of sleep is. I feel like with beauty sleep, it's kind of assumed the more sleep, the better. And I totally get that. I love sleep so, so much. Um, but actually sleeping too much is not good for my skin and sleeping too little is obviously not great either. So for me, I sleep the exact same amount every night, um, seven and a half hours. I set my alarm seven and a half hours from there or make sure I come back into that number. If I sleep too much, I literally have under eye circles, bags, my skin is drier, definitely more dull 100% so I feel and it's the same for when I undersleep so finding that magic number for you could be helpful it's crucial for me give it a try see the next thing I'm going to say and I'll make it short because I know it's boring but I do feel like skincare how your skin looks absolutely has to do with what you're putting in your body and how you're treating it so I'm going to say it you have to drink a ton of water. I literally fill up my swell bottle probably more than 10 times a day. Yes, I have to pee every five seconds, but it's worth it. And even when I'm doing a beauty shoot, I will avoid coffee, caffeine, anything that is going to be drying for my skin. Staying hydrated is crucial for your skin looking good, 1000%. My next tip and thing that I think is totally crucial and does go into sort of lifestyle and what we're putting in our body is I eat a lot of fruit, a lot of vegetables, salmon, olive oil, avocado, sweet potatoes, and carrots. All of those things, obviously to be healthy, but they're great for skin and super important. And especially carrots and sweet potatoes, which I'll explain. The way I get my fruits and veggies in, as soon as I can during the day and make sure I get a healthy dose of it is I put it in my morning smoothie. I will link that video below. I put spinach and kale always because they're high in nutrients, really good for you, good for your skin. Lots of berries. Berries are also very high in antioxidants and good for skin as well. So those are blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and strawberries. I just do a mix of all of those in my morning smoothie and that's a really easy way to get them in. I also buy all of those things frozen so they never go bad in my fridge and I always have them ready to go. I also implement sweet potatoes and carrots and the reason for that is those foods are high in beta carotene. I won't go too much into the science. Beta carotene is an antioxidant that is great for your skin, definitely brings a glow to your complexion, but be careful. There was one point in my life where I ate so many sweet potatoes that I literally turned orange like the palms of my hands. I was like going through something and had a very weird obsession with sweet potatoes. I ate them constantly. So that can happen. Don't overdo it, but definitely implement them into your diet. Sorry if the camera moved, my battery died, so I had to go change that, <laughs> okay. Now that we have talked about food and sleep and water and all those things, let's go into products, which I'm sure you guys wanna know about. Something that, and the most important thing in my skincare regime by far is making sure to remove all of my makeup and cleanse my skin at night. Something I guess that is slightly different about what I do or what I try to do is I use an all-in-one cleanser, something that takes off all of my makeup and dirt from the day. The one that I really like right now that I've been using is the Drunk Elephant Jelly Cleanser. I really like this one because it does a good job of taking everything off. I want everything to come off kind of with one cleanser. I know that makeup remover wipes are super easy. I have them in my bathroom, of course, because sometimes you just need a wipe, but I avoid wipes because I read online, but also felt it in my own skin that they're pretty rough on my skin, especially around the eyes. I've kind of heard that they cause fine lines and wrinkles because at the end of the day, you're tugging at your skin with this cotton cloth. And I don't think that's good for skin. And I'm not trying to get any fine lines or anything like that, especially around my eyes. So I try to avoid those at all costs, but I use them sometimes, but I prefer to find a cleanser that is very good, really takes everything off, 
and it's effective. My next tip or piece of advice would be to invest in some sort of serum that is high in antioxidants. I have tried so, so many over the years, but I'll show you which ones I like. For when my skin is really, really dry, I like something that's obviously moisturizing, but also gonna give me that glow. So I really like this Aquasource Concentrate. This is super moisturizing, and I actually mix this with my moisturizer, which you guys may have seen in my other videos. For serious glow, when my skin, I feel like is dull, especially in the winter this happens. This is a product that I absolutely feel like has made a difference in my skin, my complexion overall, is the CE Frulic by SkinCeuticals. I love this. It definitely gives me a glow that sort of lasts all day and has lasting sort of benefits and results. The vitamin C serums are good for protecting your skin from free radicals. It's also supposed to help with signs of aging and redness and all of those things, but I love this one. I swear by it and I've been using it for quite a few years now. While we're still on products, I'm obviously going to say, and I'm sorry if this is Rep repetitive or whatever, but moisturizing, so important. I moisturize like crazy, and when I'm not working and I'm not wearing any makeup, which I try to do when I'm not working, I am moisturizing like crazy. The moisturizer that I really like is this Life Plankton Sensitive Emulsion, really, really good, and I also really like the Drunk Elephant Lala Whip Cream. Moisturizing is so freaking key. I would never even leave the house without my serums and my moisturizers. And I feel like you just need to experiment with products, which I've definitely done over the years, and find something that works for you. I really like products that are paraben free and stuff like that. You just need to find a moisturizer that works for you and that, because it just makes the biggest difference. Another thing, another tip, another thing that I implement into my routine. I was kind of hesitant to share it because it's a prescription, but I will because it's part of what I do. So another thing that I implemented into my routine a few years ago is I use a form of Retin-A, which is for anti-aging, fine lines, wrinkles, all of those things. So this is a tretinoin cream. Sorry, it's weird and like this, but it's because I use it. Tretinoin is, I think, just a non-brand name version for Retin-A. This is actually, I think, more so used for people with acne this prescription, but I obviously don't really have acne. I use it for anti-aging. You have to be careful with this. Warning, disclosure, this is super, super, super drying for your skin. I have to be so careful with it. I use it two to three times a week, but even that can be too drying sometimes. I'll go to work or like when I'm shooting Maybelline and Aaron Parsons is like, Emily, gotta lay off the retin-a because my skin is like falling off so you have to be careful but i do think it has made my skin look really good so i do use this another thing that i am going to say because i'm always trying to avoid dryness in the winters is i use cold water as cold as possible to rinse my face when i'm washing it the reason for that and i've definitely noticed this as i've gotten a little bit older over the years is that when i use hot water even though it feels so good it actually makes my skin a little bit more red blotchy not a little bit definitely more red and blotchy and stuff like that I try to rinse with cold i think it's better and it doesn't make my skin red and blotchy and stuff like that are right, you guys i'm really not doing a very good job of talking slower it's so hard for me last thing that i'm going to say and this this is sort of like a disclosure, but something to be mindful of is that, like I said, skin has so much to do with lifestyle, what we're eating, how we're sleeping, alcohol, all stuff like that. And also I don't drink alcohol before a shoot. That absolutely makes a difference. Again, goes back to like hydration and stuff like that. But hormones also are a huge part of skin and I try to manage my stress, especially living in New York. It's so stressful and there's just like so much stimulation. But I think all of those things have a huge difference on how your body feels, your skin, how it looks, my eyes, like the brightness, all of that. The point here is that be mindful of your hormones, what's going on with your stress levels, but also if you're breaking out before you get your period, that's pretty normal, that happens to everyone, and I feel like we all go into like, you know, how can I get rid of this? How do I fix this? I do it too, but sometimes I'm just like, there's nothing I can do about this. This is totally hormonal, a hormonal breakout that's okay, and it literally happens to everyone, so don't be so hard on yourself and don't go in the mirror and start popping and plucking and using God knows what on it. I know we all do that, we wanna dissect it, but sometimes it's best to just leave it alone and be like, 
whatever, that's what I do. <laughs> that concludes sort of my tips, tricks, things I do for clear skin. Um, I hope this video was interesting or informative for you guys. I will link all the products and everything that I talked about below in the description box. Thank you for watching. If you watched all the way to the end, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That subscribe button is below. And I will see you guys in my next video.